Good afternoon, ladies and gentle pugs. It is I, your lord, the King Pug Gaming, and welcome back to episode 9 of Hungry Shark Evolution Endgame. And we're only here today because we finally got three more Mega Evolution Sharks that consist of the Tiger Shark, Alan, Destroyer of Worlds, and the Abyss Shark. But we're not looking at Alan or the Tiger Shark, we're looking at the new Abyss Shark, the Abyssosaurus. Now this happened to catch my eye not too long ago, and I figured that this shark will be really good. In full time, Abyss, Abyssosaurus Rex, King of the Abyss. The Abyssosaurus lives where the ocean meets the core of the earth. Undefeated, they reign over all of the creatures. Just reading that info, this shark sounds incredibly menacing. Now, if I'm gonna be honest with you, if I saw this thing ever in real life, I would not touch this thing at all. So without further ado, let's do this thing. And here we are. Oh, nice. We are all ready. Level 11. Okay, this this thing has a much more calmer thing than the Abyss Shark. Still takes a more time to charge up its special ability. And of course, while well, I'm playing as a thing, not all my stats are completely upgraded. So yeah, I may miss a few things, or I may not be able to get them at all, so... Oh yeah. Whoa! The Vortex turned purple! That's... that's a new feature. I like that a lot. And... Whoa! Okay, I am astounded by what I am seeing. Am I playing as the Abyss Shark, or a Demogorgon? Now what I think I want to do is wait for my for, Okay, this is the Vortexes now. Come on, let me catch something already. Hmm. Oh. Hello, dude. Not too big of a threat to me, you know? Wait, so I mind control enemies towards me now? Oh my god. That's just amazing. Oh god. Classic Abyss Shark Evolution. Crawling. Oh, purple Shark for that. Originally, it was red. Now, it's purple. A slightly better color. Oh, I see. At the far end of the abyss, this thing will turn purple. Oh, that's unique. Man, that is super cool. Hmm. That on the good, yes. But right now, something isn't right. Not a lot of big things are spawning right now. Now we're starting to get big things to spawn, but... Nah, uh, it's... Not enough. Not enough to satisfy my abyssal anger. I must get more big things. Alan, get over here. Hmm. I'm curious on what Alan El Destructor can do. Yep, that's the name of the full, um... Mega Evolution of Alan. Where's the Alan... Or is it Ava El Destructor? No. Oh, wait a minute. I can take Ava Fish and put them under my control and use them. <laughs> yes. That, that is incredible. And it's big brain play. I might need to upgrade my bike, so do a quick magma gel run. Six and a half hours later. Well, that took longer than I thought, but now I have enough coins to finally upgrade my final level of my bite. I still need to upgrade the remainder of my boost and my speed. But oh well, let's do this again. Yeah, it really didn't take that long just to get more coins. All it all it took me was just all, over ten minutes. That's all. Now let's see if anything changed. Now that I've come back with full bite and not full boost and speed. I seem to be eating more stuff without missing, but will that happen during Gold Rush? I'm not sure. Well, the Vortex seems to be working fine, but we won't know for sure until I try out the purple one. That's a little more. There we go. 
Hey, you got this already. What? How the heck? Did we get to 8 million? That fast? Welcome to me, my minions. Oh, so only anglerfish can, al can ally with me. Okay, since we're both abyssal creatures. Nice. Okay, we got more bigger creatures here, but... Not sure if the mind control thing is helping me out too much. I mean, it's definitely pulling things towards me. But not stopping enemies, shark invaders, or little snake in my multiplayer. I think that's the trick to this thing. When you're in your world, you the mind control thing, fill up your vortex. So then, that way, you can eat anything that surrounds you. Can you use the vortex? Now. Mind control, everything to me. Oh god, I, I definitely know I'm not gonna make a hundred million points in less than five minutes, because this thing is just... Yeah, I got three little anglerfish on my side, and we're off. Hmm, I honestly thought I'd get more. I guess that effect will only work if I'm in a gold rush. Well, let's see if that's true by finding more of this thing. Or Pyro Shark, and this shark. But this is not, Gold Rush is already over. Never mind, I'm going to start it now. Ah, I think I found a trick to this thing. Whenever you're in Gold Rush and you now have mind control, then you have to stay still and let anything that's under your influence come towards you so you devour them. And the screams I'm hearing are coming from the anglerfish, because they're joining with my side. And I actually have a max of three. And I think the message said, join me, my friend. Well, the worst part about this is that whenever you're trying to keep your multiplier at this thing, even whenever you're going to kill so much stuff, you have to move. And when enemies are under your mind controlling powers, you can't move. Because you want anything that's under your control to swim towards you so you can eat them. And that's what really sucks. Because then you have a right to chance of dying by bigger enemies. If you're standing still in a giant pit of death, then they just keep waiting for those small. Like, what? Wait, 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 wait. See? I have to stand still and then. I don't look for new targets. That will just make me waste my time in a gold rush. Because you can't move while enemies are under your control. Even if you use the vortex, it'll be hard to catch them. Now just stand still and wait for enemies to come towards you. Just pick up under your vortex and they can't come towards you. Okay. Dude. Oh, so in terms of anglerfish minions. You can only have three at a time. Three enough. Oh, they were trying to kill the the shark killer shark. And now let's control everything. Come to me. Everything that's in my path of my Telekinetic powers? I, I don't know what to say now. Okay, the bitch cage hit me again, and now... I'm at the edge of the world. Well, is this a baseball game? That bitch cage. I'm gonna see that one. That's it. Because... Even if I'm not far away... From where I was before it hit me... No, I actually gotta think that I can't get a billion points with this thing because sometimes you miss everything that is right in front of you with your own vortex. Second, when you're in gold first, you have to stay still for anything that is under your mind control to even get close to you, and you won't even know how to control the abyss shot. Even if it's the smallest thing that you want to bend to your influence for extra points, it's just impossible. Control this thing. Just how? Yeah, I just don't understand this at all. How are you supposed to control this thing? Because even after you're going to get a gold rush and 
you're doing nothing and you have nothing else around you because you've been drunk into your mouth, you won't have anything left to eat, and then you're gonna lose your multiplier on me. <laughs> well, you know, I think I may take back what I just said. The Abyssosaurus might be kind of good, but that depends if I can truly master this thing. Because right now, it seems impossible for me to get a good high score with this thing. Like, come on! Oh, I think I may get it. Whenever enemies are under your mind control, you just have to circle around to the back of you, or any in particular where you're heading towards your mouth. So that way, you can easily get some nice food. Okay, okay, I think I may understand the concept of this thing now. And it's still hard to master, and it's tricky to control, because you still gotta find anything that's in your path to eat, even if you're in gold rush. Which to me is almost impossible. English richness. Come to me when we lose. Join me. <laughs> yes. Everyone has come to win. see it now. Apparently you have to use the vortex of you and the original one bought from the store so that way you can loop enemies towards you without any problems at all. That way you can keep your multiplier. I think. Yep. I'm dead. But I think that's as far as I can go so far. This thing is kind of good but I've yet to see its true potential. Well, so far, I believe this is only the best I can do with the Abyss of Source Rex, King of the Abyss. But, I will get better with this thing over time. So now, I hope y'all have enjoyed watching me. Lose my sanity over this thing. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And stay Pugtastic. A giant fire breathing lizard, and now this thing.